Hi everybody, welcome to Quarkus Funky Amazon Lambda demo. So my name is Daniel O. Oh. I'm working for Red Hat as a technical marketing major. This video showcases how to write your function using Quarkus Funky extension and deploy that function into Amazon Lambda serverless platform. Let's get started. Okay, here's my ID to VS Code and let's try to create the new Quarkus project. The project name serverless dash funky and I'm gonna leave all default variable and uh, generate my Quarkus project in my temp directory. So let's go take a look at that the sample application here. So just the rest ample the rest easy endpoint. Let's try to run my Quarkus application using Quarkus dev mode. And then try to access the endpoint slash rest easy slash hello. The return will be hello, just like you see in the application. I try to change your code uh, using library coding uh, feature and then you can return code welcome uh, just like the wonderful beauty of the Quarkus application library coding uh, capability. And next step, we're gonna add a new extension, uh, Quarkus Funky. The first of all, we add the Funky HTTP binding extension and it takes uh, a couple of seconds to uh, download the Maven dependency on your Maven project. And try to uh, uh, try to change your application uh, using funky and you just needed to add funk annotation here and uh, delete unnecessary import classes. It's a pretty simple, uh, you change your pretty simple application here and we'll try to rest endpoint and uh, welcome the same result. And uh, we're going to add a new CDI bin because the funky annotation still uh, provide and support uh, CDI bin in a focus application. The simple method here, the return welcome and your name plus uh, for uh, serverless uh, using Quarkus Funky. It's a simple return text string variable. And then go back to our resource class and then try to inject like a greeter service we just made it and then change the return code. Uh, in order to uh, change the return code, we need to add a new uh, method here like a funk and the public string and greeter, but in this case, we uh, define the actual function name, the hybrid. If you don't uh, specify the function name, your method name will be your function name by default. And I try to access the M new access the function endpoint uh, with the parameter Daniel O, and then you can find the welcome Daniel O for serverless uh, of using Quarkus funky uh, method. So next step, we're gonna add Amazon Lambda with your funky annotation to deploy this application into uh, Amazon Lambda. So we just uh, add a new uh, extension and the one thing you needed to do, uh, define is a, the method, the function name. So here is the Quarkus style function and explorer is a hello, the one of I function name and try to make one package. Once you done make, make one package, the all, uh, generate file is already located in your target directory. For example, the manage bash file, how to create a delete and update your function on Amazon Lambda. And there are also YAML file uh, to local testing for Amazon deployment. So let's try to uh, uh, run your manage bash script, but you just needed to uh, pass down your Amazon resource name here as a parameter your managed bash script. It takes a couple of seconds to deploy your application into Amazon Lambda. It depends on what kind of application you need to deploy in Amazon Lambda. So we just deploy succeed and I reload my function in Amazon Lambda and then you can find the new uh, serverless application here. Let's write a new test scenario here and hello, you don't need to any parameter and I just click on the test uh, feature and then it takes a couple of seconds to start up and now we got the return the welcome as exactly same result we ran in my local environment. So let's try to delete this function because we need to de redeploy a new uh, function method and uh, just to make sure uh, that delete uh, is already delete and then go back to our application properly and then change the method name uh, like a function name the hybrid and retry to uh, package maybe the package application once again and then try to run the manage bash script with the create a parameter and then just succeed and then go back to Amazon Lambda console and a new function is just deployed and then go to create a new configuration to test 
and the event name like a greeter and then uh, the parameter is like a, my preferred name uh, for example uh, Dan O you know save my configuration and I try to click on task it takes a couple of seconds to build your application and then now you gotta see the welcome then on for serverless using Quarkus Funky. Thanks for watching. If you have more questions about the Quarkus application and Red Hat subscription, how to use the Quarkus in your product environment, please reach out to Red Hat representative directly. Have a good rest of the day.